What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. This was a random matchup against North Faction, uh, one of the clans in the North Remembers family. Uh, these guys are really good. Because uh, it was a random matchup, obviously it wasn't quite even. A little bit of an advantage went to North Faction in this 82 to 82 percentage victory for them. Uh, they did have two extra Town Hall 11s. We had one extra Town Hall 10. And they had a Town Hall 8, I believe. But the real story here for overall was with a slight disadvantage, Invicta really shone through with the Town Hall 9s. Absolutely crushed it. Uh, left the top in really good position. Just a few too many bullies. I think North Faction had to use maybe like 7, maybe even 8 bullies to clear the board and come away with that percentage victory. But hey, great win, North Faction. Uh, hopefully we can meet up a little more even turns next time. And uh, yeah, thank you for the fantastic war. Uh, let's just jump right in, right? I, I have a bit of a theme because of the success of the Town Hall Nines in this uh, this war. At least one of the things that I'm seeing in all these Town Hall Nine attacks is kind of thinking about the state of Town Hall Nine since everything's kind of settled. We got the, the sort of overpowered miners and bowlers going on right now. Really changes up what you bring in your CCs because miners or bowlers are so valuable in CCs. But point being is I think they found a pretty good niche now that they've added town hall 11 you know they had to make town hall 9 a little bit easier and there's no doubt about it it's not like it used to be obviously like it, as a defender for town hall 9 it's frustrating it's difficult because there's so many different styles of attacks that you can use now and i think that's a good thing don't get me wrong um you know, I do, I'm not going to lie, I still feel bowlers and maybe even miners need a slight shave off of their uh, power, but whatever, that's a whole different discussion. Uh, but Town Hall 9, it's not like it's a given. It's not like, I mean, yeah, HHB is about as close to as it gets as a given, um, especially when you get a baby drag that's got like one, two, three, four, five, like six buildings going to keep moving in. That's awesome. One thing I noted in this attack once was uh, the... The viability is baby drag. I think after this, Wiz Tower finally eats a black mine to the face, but really good value on that. Anyways, um, back to this uh, thing about these diverse attacks is you're going to see in this recap, I think I have about six, maybe seven attacks that I'm going to show you that are all very, very different. Um, similar fundamentals, but uh, there's just a lot. My whole point is there's just so many options now at Town Hall 9. I like it. I think it's a good thing. Uh, I just think bowlers and miners need a slight, slight, slight. Slight, slight, slight tweak. Anyhow, uh, again, once you get the bowlers in here, right, they're going to end up moving out to the outside, doing a bit of cleanup, but that's fine. This pack of hogs is key under this heel. Sends in pretty much all of them. Finally sends in the last few down on that mortar. Keep everything moving up towards this section. Gets the giant trigger of the bomb, but does lose a few there. Does lose his queen there. It's unfortunate. Three giants go to that spring trap, but it doesn't matter. Healers on the two giants there tanking the cannon. Bunch of hogs are in, still under the heel. Finally leave the heel and are immediately on that whiz tower. GG for this base. Cleanup wizard on one side. Bowlers on the other side. Side. Once just absolutely smashes this uh, base with the good old HGHB. Boom, tree in the bag. All right, so next up on the block, Ryan. Um, bring in 14 Valks with 10 baby dragons. <laughs> so I thought this was a cool attack. Idea here, right? Look at this sort of weird, this, this kind of shaped of queen chamber up here. I've seen this, in, not that this is a foreign base by any means, but this top compartment is a common style to the top piece or whatever of a foreign base. And I've done this before where, not with baby dragons, but you funnel the sides and these few buildings here right in front of that queen chamber, it, like it, it's a natural funnel. You just drop on these buildings, queen sucks everything in, boom, 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 poisons go down, make sure the heal goes down. Got a ton of Valks he brought. Again, I think it was seven Valks plus three more in the CC, maybe even more, I think it was more. I said at the beginning, but baby dragons now going around all outside um, the base. Do a little bit of cleanup there. Uh, Queen is going to end up walking out and around, but finally join up at this Tesla farm and help things out. Hits that king ability, wants to bust on through that wall. Get right into that uh, Tesla farm there. Get all the juicy, juicy value out of that. Baby dragons doing uh, doing work. Does lose one of them to the Teslas, but believe the queen steps up just in time to save this other one. King goes down. Couple baby dragons on the other side, but the key to this, right, is we're at 82%. There's an expo, an air defense, an archer tower, and a cannon, and we still have three baby dragons and a wizard. That's 34 troops placed plus a queen ability to go. So all he's doing is just biding his time. This expo is to air, so he doesn't want to waste the baby dragons on this side. Does not want them to get in range of that air defense. So waiting for this queen to get on over here. 
once this gold mine goes down it will go down she's gonna step up start taking care of that there go the baby dragons still i'm pretty sure he swags this baby drag and this wizard here just smashed it ryan hits that queen ability down goes the air defense expo was the last thing to go see you later swag swags that 14 troops face nice job ryan beauty all right so number 20 got zabi got a few additions from uh power coc uh some really good guys that just kind of you know just just got tired of the whole leadership role and i only firsthand actually understand that at times uh, so they ended up you know uh kind of a lot of guys ended up leaving power coc and we absorbed some of them and they're all awesome people like this guy zabi here he's just killing it Right, gets these minions down. I think he has five, maybe six buildings out of those minions. So good job, gets that funnel nice and wide. Whole idea, good old wiser recap, has to have an open alleyway concept base. Now, when I look at this base, this alleyway essentially sections your queen chamber and this little expo, like this little section off as one part, these uh, these four chambers as the other part and these three chambers is the other part so he's taking care of this one gonna move right on and get that jump spell moving everything straight across to the queen chamber this uh, queen is right against the wall so she's gonna jump into the alleyway here she goes boom right there so everything's gonna lock onto that queen in one second there goes that king decides to take another smack at that clan castle but raises it up takes down the defensive queen drops a balloon on the backside here for that uh, that cannon just wonderful bowlers in there just smashing stuff as they go through sends in a few hogs take care of that queen chamber and he's got like 10 maybe 11 hogs he sent in down at the nine o'clock section for this tesla farm gets those outer point defense down drops that heal spell takes care of them gonna heal those hogs right back up everything just pincers on these last few defenses and there's a mortar and a troll tesla in the corner there but no big deal down it goes zabi just killing it buddy Boom. Tree in the bag. So right, so that was that was 21 hogs. So very heavy on the hogs, right? Bowlers in the CC uh, with a shatter. It, is, it, it really was like a sh basically a shattered goho um, with bowlers in the CC. So, you know, like you can use very standard attacks and just throwing these bowlers in your clan castle and, and making sure they funnel to important sections of the base uh, can really, really be beneficial. And I'm seeing that at just all different levels at Town Hall 9. Let's go to old Tom the Terrible coming in here with another different style of attack. Um, actually, no, my bad, my bad. This is actually a very similar attack um, as we just saw from Zabby, uh, Shattered Goho with Bowlers. Now, I, I'm liking seeing this because I've I, uh, there's another attack I'm going to show. It's... it's a good old-fashioned attack just with bowlers in the cc just because they're so powerful get that golem in right yank out the clan castle drop that baby drag and help that golem out like the golem is going down very very quickly but that's why we got two of them so go ahead create that funnel baby drags in there taking it literally took the clan castle out with a poison and one baby drag <laughs> a couple wizards just in time mind you but finally it goes down gets the funnel at the same time let's everything now into the base He's got to take care of the couple last trash buildings with his heroes and he's going to drop the bowlers move everything right on into these these very very large compartments has the expo side by side here i mean even if i have them in the same compartment, i probably wouldn't even have them touching because it like i just i don't know i don't like having important buildings touching because they just give valkyries extra value i find um so for example in this chamber i would swap stuff like up like i'd have the king pad right beside this or I'd probably even have the expo up more closer to the queen chamber and then the king pad beside that. And then maybe the um, move one of the storages down here. And what that's going to do is is give it protection, right? You're going to give the two expos in the back protection, the storages in the front with the king. Anyways, just a thought when you're building bases, right? You got these two storages here, right? Even now with bowlers, right? Bowlers hit multiple buildings so if you have buildings touching and they can they're on the right angle they're going to be taking both out at the same time so it's definitely a huge piece of base building i find right now is uh separating your buildings properly and just kind of putting uh putting those low value buildings beside high hit point structures and uh, it it does help a little bit obviously town all nine like i said you know it's so difficult you see these attacks right There's so many hogs right i don't i don't i don't know how, I don't think he's lost any hawks up to this point. <laughs> There's a ton of DPS in. Now he's losing a few. Doesn't matter. There's still way too many. Just Tesla melts. Cannon melts. See you later. Let's get rid of those skellies. 
clean this base up. Three wizards coming up from six with a couple gobbies just like crushes it. Absolutely crushed it. Nice job, Tom. Tree in the bag. Yeah, so I'm I'm loving these old fashioned attacks, but with bowlers in the CC. It just it just bolsters your attacks so much. Uh, we're gonna check out thirteen. What do I have? Eighteen? We just saw eighteen. Good. Uh, thirteen is oh no, what the heck did I write thirteen down for? Town hall ten bully. Am I crazy? Oh, I'm at 15. That's supposed to be a 15. Good old Zed Bear. So, um, Zed Bear actually brings the uh, exactly what I was talking about. This shattered Lalo, but instead of a third Lava Hound, you're bringing bowlers in your CC. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, just making sure my mic was on still. Um, so, you're going to see kind of how this plays out. One goal, nice and slow, gets the wall open. In goes the second goal. Let's get a good push into that base. King locks immediately onto that defensive queen. Takes her down. Jump spell opens up right open to the um, uh, the other air defense there. I kind of like it. Uh, I shouldn't say I don't. I like. I didn't like how the golem routed out there. Like the, the jump was down. Um, I guess that Tesla wasn't popped. That air defense was pretty far away. He thought that uh, that mortar was closer. But whatever. Right? Bowler's in there under the rages. Look at them just smash the Tesla farm. So he gets two air defense. The entire Tesla farm. Expos. Clan castle. Queen just bowlers are still smashing through this base, taking out all those high hit point structures. Queen still has not touched her ability. Let's get another air defense for number three. So goes ahead and starts sending the part of the air attack. Haste the balloons that are on top of those whiz towers. Wants to get everything in to this 12 o'clock location where that lava hound is just going to sit there and hang out. Gets the king in there, queen in there. Just has to finish that air defense off. Has freaking loons all over the place look at this just horde of loons he's got up still has that lava hound there on burst cannon's about to go down base is gg he's got cleanup all over the place zed bear welcome back i guess i should say zed bear actually um as i said i met zed bear in chicago live and this guy knows how to drink that's all i gotta say <laughs> i love you zed bear really really glad to have you back in the family here um Let's move on, and I think I got one more I'm going to show and call this a date. Dr. D, bring in, what is this? <laughs> Three P.E.K.K.A.s. <laughs> now, this attack wasn't the cleanest thing you've ever seen. Part of it, again, it's the P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, they're just so kind of unpredictable and strange, but I thought the creativity was really cool, especially in a war against someone like North Faction, you know. Um, crazy, right? He's going to go ahead and create the funnel. Ingo these P.E.K.K.A.s with healers on them. And just going to get good value. P.E.K.K.A.s are just going to kind of walk in around these uh, buildings here. Take on um, to that wall. Smack down the wall. Look at that. Really like these max P.E.K.K.A.s in three swipes. Take down the lava wall. Not max P.E.K.K.A.s. Sorry. Level three P.E.K.K.A.s. Poison now goes over the queen. Healers are keeping those P.E.K.K.A.s going. Raid spell goes down. They're going to smash that wall. Take down that queen in one shot. See you later. Bowler's in. In behind now, going to just start raging up everything. Clan Castle comes out, so there's a bit of concern because there's nothing in here to take care of that baby dragon. There's uh, no wizards. Tries to drop a few wizards here, um, but doesn't have any luck whatsoever. So that baby dragon gets uh, survives for a really long time. And in fact, if it didn't survive, almost goes down there. Finally goes down to the poison. Um, was there a wizard? There must have been a wizard in there. I think that's the only way i don't know if that poison would have killed it anyways whatever uh you see these pekkas kind of start straying a little bit they go into this compartment over here there's no more healers on them the bowlers start all splitting um so this is where the attack kind of goes like eh, kind of uh, unsure right but king's up there hits that ability he's got a pekka helping him out up there as well just smashes through these uh these teslas up there just kind of funny i think <laughs> <laughs> to see these P.E.K.K.A.s just doing work. Take down that defensive king. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. still alive up there. Loses all his hogs to that DGB. Ow. <laughs> but guess what? We have the queen here with the ability on hit. And we have a P.E.K.K.A. there and a cleanup barb. <laughs> so at this point in the attack, you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought P.E.K.K.A.s. But the whole thing was this expo didn't go down. He didn't really want his queen to walk because that he needed that expo to go down. But you're going to see what happens here. Queen steps out of range with this expo at the exact perfect time. Keeps the queen alive. 
all this stuff's going to get taken care of by this little bunch of crap. And this is already open to go walk right in over to this expo, right? Queen starts working on the wall out of expo range, just absolutely perfect. <laughs> Down goes the expo, knocks this tree star out of the park with three pekkas. I can't believe it. <laughs> Dr. D with the, uh, I don't even know what the hell you'd call that. I'm not even going to try, but anyways, North Faction, thanks for the good war. Uh, yeah, like, like yeah, you know, I know you and Robots were talking, um, some of the leadership at least, and Robots were talking, maybe doing a range war, getting a little more even playing grounds because, uh, you know, <laughs> I when when the war comes down to a Town Hall 11 or multiple Town Hall 11s having a Bully 9s, uh, you know you did pretty good as a clan. So Invicta, really good job, really good fight. Uh, till next time, uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three-star. Till then, I'm out.